Welcome back, new game, new rules. Okay, today we're going to hack a Rubik's Cube. And your first date as a geek, or I don't know what you guys call it, your woke generation, there's a group of males that can't find female Koopa Koopas. Problemo. So dedicated to the geeks, here we go. Take a Rubik's Cube with you. Three by three. It's going to save your booty. We're going to reverse engineer how to do Michael Carbonaro, David Blaine, and Harry Houdini all in one, except instead of using illusion, we're going to use reality. Dedicated to those three, here we go. My first date consisted of the following. I put a Rubik's Cube up on the table, and we went to lunch where I figured it'd be safer. And it wasn't solved. I had her mix it up, and she said, how quaint. She said, you better have game. I'm a cutie. My booty, high-priced. Meaning, she went kablamo and said, I believe in God. You better be able to kung fu panda me. You better be worth it. I said, I got game. We play chess. We play checkers. I'll say checkmate. Don't forget to crown me. So here we go. Rubik's Cube. It's been solved, just like the pyramids, how to build them. And the Rubik's Cube, the 3x3, three three, you can get the cliff notes online on how to solve it. But here's how I did it. I did it backwards. Look, I'm autistic. Obsessive compulsive disorder. On the spectrum, I got all kinds of horrible crap. And don't forget, Kanye West is bipolar and wrote the song Jesus Walks, one of my favorite songs, so watch. My mom used to tell me when I went to bed, don't play with my Rubik's Cube. She might have meant my weenie. But I told her I wouldn't do it. But I'm autistic, so I like to mess with my mom. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, God. Sorry, everyone upstairs. Here we go. There's a cheat sheet for it. Meaning, it tells you how to move the different blocks up and down on the three and get it into a corner and you get one face going, but you do them all at once. Once you memorize that and cheat sheet how to move the blocks over, my mom would tell me to turn the lights off and go to bed, school the next day. But I kind of listened. I don't think she would have come back in if I was playing with my other Rubik's Cube. But anywho, I decided not to put it on my stomach. That would look really weird if she walked in and she'd catch me. So I leaned over to my side hiding it and it looked 10 times worse y'all 10 times worse anywho she never caught me playing with either Rubik's Cube but here's what I did I had to turn the lights out like even with the night light you can't see underneath the dealio and it was dim so I started doing it when it was dimly lit under there and then she caught me and she pulled the plug on it and I said dang I gotta do it in the dark now so, before I went to sleep, I would memorize one side of the cube that I could see. And then before long, I would use the same cube. Well, I had three cubes. So, one of them I was working on at nighttime, one in the daytime, and one I played with, I'd take with me. Like on my first date. Anywho, I learned how to do one side first. And I said, cool. And then I got two sides, then I got three, and then I got all of them. Don't be silly. Okay? But I memorized it because my mom said go to sleep. And that Rubik's Cube, believe it or not, relaxed my autistic mind because we like to solve puzzles. And I went to sleep and said, I'll save it for tomorrow because it's right here in my hands. Kind of like a teddy bear. Anywho, I still think I can beat you on my first date. Watch. <sighs> this geek asked my girl, what's your intentions? And I said, I have no idea. I believe in God too. Swipe and right only includes staying neutral. I met her. She wanted to come over, so we're trying friends. Maybe best friends. Maybe lovers, but in order. We're at neutral. Anywho, she wanted to know how I kung fu panded my way through life, and I told her the following. I learned chess, checkers, and a Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube I learned to do underneath my blanket. Mommy laughs about it, hopefully nowadays. But when I went on my first date, 
I was fiddling with it underneath the table because I was nervous and it calms me down. Anywho, after she messed it up, she said, do you have any game? And I said, why do you keep handing me solid col colored cubes? And I handed it back to her while I was staring her in the eyes. Never took my direction off of her. And I solved the Rubik's Cube and I said, I Kung Fu Panda life. By the way, if a child had obsessive compulsive disorder, but was able to not go in circles and solve stuff, and had the persistence to do it till eternity, you just described my gift. But if you take it forwards, meaning solve it in the daytime, get that cheat sheet, figure out how to do it, and then memorize it. Just do it over and over. It's really simple. Think of those three monkeys. I think they called them Larry, Moe, and Curly. Okay. Think of the monkey with one was closing their eyes, one was clearing their ears, and the other one their mouth. And I was using all three at the dinner table. Or lunch table, pardon me. Safer that way, more people. This way they feel more comfortable. Anywho, I only made friends with her, but she was pretty good at Rubik's Cubes herself. People thought we were actually like doing mutual masturbation stuff at the table. Maybe we were. Maybe we weren't. Serotonin, adrenaline, and dopamine are powerful tools, but can be abused when used too much. Example, Conor McGregor, unfortunately. Look, I'm Irish. Dude, come on. Anywho, too much of it, like weightlifting, can make misuse of it. No butterflies. But you see, I told her I like butterflies, starting from macro pictures up. Have you ever looked at it, all the different variations of a fly alone with a macro lens? They're like tiger skins. Their DNA's on the outside, folks. They're older than us. So watch. If I can do a Rubik's Cube under the table in the dark... Oh, crap, I forgot to tell you. I brought all three of them with me on that date. And by the way, I actually had to scratch my booty. And I was able to cheat and tell her I was just solving another Rubik's Cube. And she laughed. All three of them were solid colors. She had to mix them up again. I like to mix it up at the lunch table. Come on, where are you guys at? And be original with a Rubik's Cube. And by the way, she Kung Fu banded me pretty hard. And said, I'm not swiping right. But if you want to be friends, I'd love to start there. I can beat you. Coming soon, I want to take the current challenge on. I want to beat anyone at anything, with the exception of chess and checkers. Anything in life. How to feed the homeless. How to improve a drone. How to fly it higher than anybody. Simulation theory, multiverse theory, ransomware. If it's interesting to me, I'll take it on. If it doesn't help planet money, it's I'm not interested. And I represent the natives. You thought the end of time disclosure was supposed to be religious based? Well, the Estados Unidos was natives when it was started. And it ends that way. Coming soon, if you want to call it the disclosure. MUFON might have screwed up. They were supposed to solve every problem on a timeline and reveal it, but clearly the only advanced timeline pyramid on the planet is the Egyptian pyramid. And those SD cards that were on the outside of it, the sheathing that matches the sun's color, that only colorblind people can see, the United States is using yin and yang against you. Colorblind means you can't see certain colors, but they can see certain colors, but it's never been defined dedicated to the natives. You know how they mapped out the color of the sun, the white with the green, without using any technology? A colorblind person is just like an autistic person. Different spectrum of light. By the way, I proved it recently. Got a dude drunk with the uh, colorblind, and I said, are you seeing stars? And he said, nope. The sun's white with green speckles, though. Proofs in the pudding, folks. I wonder if MUFON's talking about this. Because you'd have to back engineer every disability and then prove it. 
So I'll go after making it F-normal, obsessive compulsive disorder, autism, a biohack for hearing that transmits to a computer. I'll play around with a Tesla coil and a plasma ball. I'll show you science that's all over my walls, but I'll show you religion and theism in a whole new light. By the way, here's how you hack a Rubik's Cube in your forward order, keeping in mind I'm dyslexic. You buy a Rubik's Cube. You buy the book on how to cheat and solve it. You lay in bed, it'll put you to sleep. And you keep playing with it till you memorize it, how to solve it by looking at it and reading the instructions. Little by little, you take the instructions away from you after cliff noting it, keep it simple. You just need to know each little move to move each little block. Three by three patterns, simple. Nine to a face. Count them up. It's like playing chess. There's only so many pieces on the table if you go up and down and count the moves. Now add up all the sides, silly. Anywho, little by little take the book away so you have it memorized and lay in bed and keep solving it, but solve it part way then the next night the rest of the way. Then little by little slow it down and you'll learn each move. You'll learn how to master moving the cube. You'll be able to do move it around in circles and then land it in the middle and then solve it. Much cooler. Much, much cooler in your first day. Look, don't compete. I'm high level. I like to play. Checkmate and crown me. And what do I do with these solid side cubes? I did it at age nine. Didn't advertise to the world though very silly move. Not good people out there. Reference the natives. Very kind and loving people. Dedicated to the natives. Here's how you solve every Kung Fu Panda move on planet Mother Earth. Planetarily. It's going to be a blast. Now, take your Rubik's Cube and get under the bed, under the blanket, use low light, cheat it first, then turn the light off all the way. Practice, just making one move at a time until you got them all down. And then tell your mom you're sorry, but at the breakfast table she thought it was impressive. <laughs> I got cut off from my Atari 400. I lied to my mom, but she said it was cool I went to sleep. I told her I only did it for 20 minutes before I went to sleep every night. So, if you do it for 20 minutes or less, you can start out slow and get there. And then when you go on your first date, you got to itch your booty, scratch your huevos, or sneeze and grab a tissue, or your keys are poking you. Or worse yet, I'm sitting at the table next to you, pulling the ultimate prank. Dude, are you pointing north at the chandelier? Hey, look, you're going to call me out? I'm hitting you right back. Right between the eyes. Third Eye Technology coming up soon. Stay tuned. Dedicated to the natives, by the way. And look, if you're a Latin American and you're looking to get back to your roots, that's how you Kung Fu Panda moves. Just like that. You play every move like it's going to be a checkmate. Then when you can move that little ball around and then take a picture of each one, looks like it's moving all around the entire cube, then you're at my level. Sayonara. Coming up next, I'll take requests to solve anything. I like solving distended stomachs being filled with that nutrient package of powder where you just have to add water. Great to drop drone drops with them and let the little packets fly down. It won't hit them in the head. And then it rains. They got all the ingredients, their hands to hold it, a friend to pour it, and they can both share it. Get back to reality. It's coming to hit you between the eyes, folks. I just hacked a Rubik's Cube. Oh, and I also back-engineered part of autism. And if you keep handing me Rubik's Cube, I'm always solved. And I did say I'm bored with Rubik's Cubes, chess, and checkers. Coming soon. Checkmate. Crown me. What do I do with these solid-colored cubes, dude? And by the way... On my autism, I'm full spectrum. You're going to go, what's that? If a mother's love for their child is Buzz Lightyear till infinity, 
Everyone in the United States has a surprise coming. Aren't your contracts null and void at the end of time? Meaning, you said till death do us part, and at the end of times, even if you take your body and your soul, mind, everything, you're divorced. Buzz Lightyear was infinity and beyond that would represent theism and religion as heaven. NASA changed that to space and exploration. Ask any native. When they told you to look at the sun, the moon, and the stars, pale face, pale face says space. Natives say the heavens, as they truly believe it exists, up there in the clouds, where the International Space Station is monitoring heaven. Whoa! Or, in theism, the theistic planes coming soon. I'm going to hack way more than a Rubik's Cube. I'm going to hack your mind. See ya. And by the way, I get a lot more views on my podcast. That's hacked. Anyway, I'll be taking questions now on my podcast, and I'll be canceling out on my YouTube video. Sayonara. Cell phones are cool. i got to pick them up. I'll mess up on my microphone.